close. Now, and as you hear, you will shout, praise the Lord. Heaven will shout with you today. Yeah. I say heaven will shout with you today. Yeah. What you cannot do before, begin to do right now. The name of Jesus has never failed. Where are you? We are waiting for you now. Who will be the first to shout, praise the Lord there? Waiting for you. A miracle is there. I say your miracle is there. Check your body right now. What you cannot do, begin to do right now. Cancel us. Check on them. Help them. You came on wish share. Rise up, begin to push that wish share right now. You are using any crutches. Raise it up and let everybody see that God has done something for you. Orchestra, you can come forward. Orchestra, you can come forward. I'm waiting for your testimony. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Shout of joy everywhere. Shout of joy everywhere. From the back to the front to the center, everywhere now. Every problem must melt under the name of Jesus. No problem can, can remain. Over and over, you had in Jesus' name. What are you? We're waiting for your testimony. Yes, over there. Yes, over there. Can we have a shout hallelujah over there? Your miracle is here. Say my miracle is here. I've received my miracle. If you have received, come forward now. God bless you. There is joy there. There is joy there. It is happening. It is happening. It is happening. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Stroke is healed. Yes, you can see the man walking now. It's your turn. It's your turn. Online, online. Check up also if you have just received your miracle. You come and share with us. God bless you. You can see the walking stick now, no more. Every problem must crumble under the name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Cancer must bow tonight. Paralysis must bow tonight. Blindness must bow tonight. Fibroid must bow tonight. Can I see a hand over there? It's happening over there. It's happening over there. Perfect healing. Total healing. It's happening at the back over there. There's a miracle happening over there. There's a miracle happening over there. Come forward, come forward, come forward, come forward. No problem can stand the name of Jesus. Over and over, you heard it from that prayer. From our Father, and bring them forward, bring them forward. With another one is happening over there. Put your hands together for Jesus. Celebrate the name of Jesus. Jesus said, The hour has come, the Son of Man must be glorified. Here tonight, Jesus must be glorified. Bring them forward. We expect our region overseers and group pastors to come forward. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. No problem can stand the name of Jesus. God has highly exalted that name. And you had it from our Father in the Lord over and over in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. That name will never fail. Another one there. Another miracle there. Bring them forward. We want to see we share race up right now. That name has never failed. Please, overseers, overseers, come forward. 
for the interview. There are many testimonies, so we need all of you to come forward. Another one there, another miracle there. No problem can stand the name of Jesus. God bless you. On my right hand side over there, I'm waiting for your clapping. There must be a miracle there. Every problem must bow under the name of Jesus. We shall must be evacuated. High blood prayer must become normal. Fibroid is melting away right now. Where are you? Where are you? Another one there. Another one there. Another one there. Put your hands together for Jesus. The name above all names. The name above all names. Jubilation everywhere. Joy everywhere. If you brought anyone that is dead and thrown, deafness has bowed to the name of Jesus. Where are you? Where are you at the back? I'm expecting your testimony. Please come forward, come forward, come forward. Our overseers, please let's make sure we interview the people. Any hands there? It's happening over there. The dead can hear the lame is walking. Problems are melting under the name of Jesus. The name above all names. Yes, yes, bring them forward, bring them forward. Bring them forward, bring them forward. Perfect healing. First night, multiple. Check your body now as you are praising God. You are praising God on your behalf. Come forward, come forward, come forward. If you brought any body with any problem, under the name of Jesus, the problem was coming. Melt away. It's coming forward now to come and give your testimony. Yes, come forward, come forward. No problem can stand the name of Jesus. You can see already. You can see joy over there. The power in the name of Jesus. Power in the name of Jesus. You had it in the prayer of the servant of the Lord, in Jesus' name. While we are waiting for the interview at the Alpha, Alpha location here, we are told that uh, we are taking a testimony from the online. Please have us here, be fast as I can take as many as possible. Begin to shake yourself now. You cannot go home with any sickness tonight. Everyone must melt under the name of Jesus. God has highly exalted that name. All right. Please let's listen. We want to have a testimony from online. The name of Jesus walking wonders everywhere across the globe. And we bring you some testimonies right now as we're receiving on the social media. Godwin Godem, 
had pains in the leg and in the spine. And he wrote, just tonight, after the final amen, the spine pain completely disappeared. Indeed. Glory to God. Indeed, glory to God as we bring you this from Joseph Heritage from Edde Oshu State, Nigeria, who wrote, the Lord has just healed me from an ear problem that has persisted for some time now. After the final amen, the pain disappeared, and now I have my healing. We take you immediately now to Abia State, Southeast Nigeria. Abia. I'm grateful to be here to share the testimony of what the Lord has done in my life. Deliver me from kidney problem. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Lopai from Deeper Christian Life Ministry, Abia State. In the month of July, I felt sick. The sickness was so serious in my life to an extent I cannot stand up. I cannot sit down. I was just lying helplessly. When the doctor tested me, he found out that I have high blood pressure, which affected my kidney. And then one of our sisters, before that, the doctor referred me to Federal Medical Center that we should go there. Then one of our sisters said, let's go to Dr. Emuche first. Then on getting there, Dr. Emuche have to confirm the kidney problem, as the other doctor have already said. I'm Dr. Charles Emuche, the MD and CEO of Excellence Med Medical Diagnosis Center. Pastor Emmanuel Popeye was brought in here a few months ago by a lady nurse I know. He was admitted in a private hospital here in Aba. At that point, he was diagnosed of renal failure and was referred to Federal Medical Center, Umuahia. They decided to bring him here to confirm the doctor's diagnosis. When he came here, he was so down, he couldn't walk. He was, had general edema. That means he was swollen up. The hemoglobin level was low. Everything was down. Turn around the test, the creatinine was very high, uh, 3.0. The urea was about 70, and I, I gave them the result. Then my group pastor had to phone the state overseer who told him to ask me to come to secretariat because Jesus is going to pray for people that have problems. And when we came there, with my group pastor and Jesus was connected and he prayed for us. After the prayer, I feel some sensation in my body that I am healed. Praise the Lord. And then to confirm, I went back to the doctor. I went back to the doctor. When, the, when I came in, the doctor smiled and said, Pastor, the Lord have healed you. A few weeks later, he came back and told me he wanted to rerun the test again. When he came, he was stronger this time. Unlike what he was there, I was amazed. I was surprised. And we run the test again, found that all the renal parameters have corrected. Everything was normal at this time. Creatine was 1.2 milligram per deciliter. And also the, the urea was now 37. He was strong and healthy and sound. It's amazing. He surprised the results. I hear what God is doing in these days through our uh, minister, uh, Dr. Pastor Blake Kumui, is amazing, it's wonderful, it's great. We oh, thank God for this great miracle. Before I cannot do like this, I cannot do anything, I cannot stand up. Thank God that the Lord has delivered me. Praise the Lord. It is amazing. We now go to the Alpha location for live testimonies. Put your hands together for Jesus. Did you hear that testimony tonight? From this Alpha location, somebody's ear has been touched right there. Any amen coming from you right there? Yeah. You will give your own testimony. So we are now taking um, testimony from the Alpha location now. But while that is going on, check your body. No sickness can follow you home tonight. They must melt under the name of Jesus. I have with me here Sister Adebayo Timilain. 
She had partial blindness and eye pain of one year duration following trauma to the left eye. Tonight, during the pastor's prayer, she received instantaneous healing, as you can see through the eye. Please listen to her. Yes, since one year, I was in my grandma, my mom, grandma's house. That day, my mom and my grandma was fighting. I was just trying to put the mic to the fight. Paper to hold the, mic. the stick like they are now using a fight does hit me in my face. And I cannot open the eyes again. The eyes was not red. They carried me to the hospital. Later, I can open the eyes, but I cannot use and see. I'm not using the second eyes and see, but I've already used drug, used drug, but it's nothing. But when pastor was not praying this night and saying that healing of eyes, that she put her hand in the place that is spinous, when he was not praying for the healing of eyes, I put my, and I received healing in the eyes. Now I can see. Put your eyes. hands together for Jesus. Instantaneous eye, healing, perfect and permanent. I wanted a better amen from you. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. My name is Oeda Paolo Abukumi. I come from Ishain region, Oyo State, Rawate Group, Nigeria. I, I attend Deeper Life since I was born, but all GS, all Pastor, Pastor Williams, follow Mushokumi message, not used to enter my head. I used to commit in, I was a sinner. I am a sinner, rather. But during last month's global crusade, Adam Awa, the Sunday worship service that our Father and the Lord preached touched my heart about a prodigal son who ran, who ran away and come back to his father. So me too. That day, the, the evening global crusade, I repent of my sin. I cried unto the Lord. I said, God, God, why, why, why all this? Because as I am seeing Problem, every, every day problem is affecting me. I don't have joy, I don't have peace. But since that Adamawa global crusade on Sunday, on Sunday, on Sunday, Adamawa, my life has been changed. Church, praise the Lord! Put your hands together for Jesus. Rejoice because your names are written in heaven. That's what Jesus our Lord said. And you are there. If your name has not entered the book of life, tonight is your night. It will enter. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Others, you will permit me to speak in my own modern tongue. Okay, hallelujah. Hallelujah. O shuke wa odun ko to di gba yen mo ti ni irora ni igba ya mi o le sun mo gbogbo eyan lo mo pe mo san ra awon to ba je eyan mi to je omo ojo wa ni bitan mo mi mo san ra sugbon bi aya ye se ndu mi be ni mo bere si nru awon eyan so pe mo mi se tori ti pe ti feyin ti le se le se wa nru bayi ma ni rara o mo nje un sugbon te eyan ba tin dagba o ma nru ni mo wa fi yen so fun won sugba awon olusu agbuto mi as do so pe eh olorun ni agbara re the lord is your strength sugba nigbati o di isoje kari aye eyi ti baba se supernatural power through christ ni ni ile ogoni ni bori ni river state ni ojo keji nigbati baba ti baba pada wa gba tura fu wa leyin wa sun one ni ke oni ka luku fowo sibi ti o ba ndun ko si gbowo kan soke mo wa gbowo soke oluwa isanu fun mi o tin re mi ni pati ara mi de ni owo tori mo lo si ile iwo so won ni ki se awon aye wo kan igba ti mo siro gbogbo owo ni bi ti mo ti fe lo so won mo ri pe owo ti mo mu lo ko si kan kan to le se ko so san ti mo ti e ri ti mo mo nbe o ni mummy se kin fun yin lowo die kun ti owo ni mo ni mi o se test kan kan mo olorun ko fun mi o ti so pe mi ni fi owo mi ra ra ti o kin se jije tabi mi mu mo pada wa sile mo wa ngba dura oluwa isanu fun mi kin se leyi nikan le ti wo e ti wo mi san sai mo si tu fe ka se leyi ninu aye mi ni ojo keji so jiyan 
baba gba tura leyin ami ta se kai mo ri pe itunu o wa sinu okan mi nigbati ma fi dele mo sun bi omo tutun lati igba na mo sin mo Let's put our hands. Let's put our hands together. Sister Diola Esther from Ikole Kiti. She's been suffering from chest pain and sleeplessness, insomnia of one month duration. But after a pastor's prayer. now but while that is taking place no problem we follow you home tonight the name of Jesus has never failed every problem melt under the name of Jesus in Jesus name be shaking your body right now and come forward to join the queue of interviewer and testifiers we now go online for some testimonies God is walking wonders. Let's quickly take you to YouTube where Gideon Silas said he had been suffering from depression. But tonight there has been a release, total transformation and total triumph. And he's praising God. Praising the Lord indeed, just like Favor Castle is praising the Lord as well. He wrote, for the past 15 years, I have been suffering from severe pain on my left leg. I've been to different places, no healing. But immediately after the last amen, and as my brother says, something, something about, about final the final amen. amen. After that amen, he got his total miracle and is completely free as the pain has disappeared disappearing pains everywhere as we bring you this from youtube nine years old akindele taiwo wrote i thank god for how he healed me from cough after the prayer of the man of god this cough has been troubling him but after the prayers tonight the cough disappeared and every other symptom associated with it all gone and as the state overseer has said it's your turn to give testimony. We we'll return to the state of Osea. Amen. It's your turn to give testimony. The Lord has opened the door of miracle for you. Nobody can shut it. Come forward as we listen to testimonies now at the Alpha location. As the testimony is going on, be shaking your body. No sickness will follow you home. Amen. A better amen. amen. At the name of Jesus, every knee and sickness must bow. Amen. The next testimony now at the, at the Alpha location. The young girl beside me has been suffering from bedwetting since birth embarrassing one 
on the last few months after the pastor's prayer, she was totally healed and she's sleeping well now, no more bed wetting. Let's hear from her. I thank the name of God. Oh. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Uh, my name is Adiola Grace. I'm from Ido region. I bless the name of God for the salvation of my soul. And I really appreciate the name of God because what God has done in my life is a great one. Praise the Lord. This baby, uh, this girl, is a mir she's a miracle girl. Because the time I conceive her is just a daddy to touch, uh, to mention my case. Then Baba mentioned my case and that heavy bleeding disappeared. Praise the Lord. Uh, third, third day after, when I went for scan, then I said they have two weeks and two days uh, baby inside me. I share my testimony then. That was 2014 uh, December. Now, since when this girl is born, is only one I'm on her side. She used to wee-wee at home. If she slept in the afternoon, she will wee. But by the grace of God, when I told October uh, GCK wants to commence, Baba said any disease that used to bring a reproach to us that we should mention it, that it will disappear. Now I went to her where she sat. I said, pray and touch where is, uh, you have problem. The, uh, my girl laid her hand on her stomach and he cried and he prayed. Since then, that will, will disappear. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together. That was a miracle, miraculous kind of, you know, the power of God in our life for the child to stop that situation. Your own situation also bringing shame to you and reproach has come to an end tonight. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Jibri Messi. I want to testify of what God has done in my life. I thank God that I am not a victim of a spitzu. I have a problem in my eyes that whenever I look into direct light, my left eye, water will be gushing out of it. I told my proprietress, she said I should tell my parents that they should buy me glasses. I said, God forbid. I was not saying this in my mind that how can a small girl of me using glasses that is not a sin of pride the following day when Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi said we should place our hand on where we have the problem. I placed my hand on my left eyes, believing that God will heal me. But I thank God God healed me, and since then, I can face the red light, and nothing will happen to me. My second testimony, since when I'm seven years, the one I can remember, if I take anything cold, I will not be able to swallow even saliva. My parents usually spend money on this. They will buy drugs. This, this, this sickness usually keeps me from school, even more than two weeks. The HM already know about my issue. But I thank God. God healed me. At first, I placed my hand on my throat. I did not have any testimony. But when Baba Nas said that, if you want to give your life to Christ, raise up your hand. I raise up my hand. And after the prayer, the final prayer, and the final amen, I thank God that I was able to swallow my saliva freely without any, any pain. Praise the Lord! Put your hands together as you surrender your life to the Lord. Every blockage will be removed in your life, in your throat, in every area of your life. Praise the Lord. Um, my name is Paul Ubi. I was invited to this program by a friend of mine. I school in Ekiti. 
and I've, I've been battling with this addiction of smoking weed and cigarette for a while. And since I left secondary school, I've been smoking. That was in 2014. I can't remember the last time I didn't smoke up to now. And funny enough, I developed this polynasa in my left, right nose, nostrils, whereby I can't breathe properly. And I was told that I would be having an operation next month for it. And when the pastor was praying, I was telling God that God, I, I think I'm done with this weed of a team. Because the pastor said something that if you, if the devil gives you something, he wants to turn your head upside down and your leg would be upstairs um, doing the wiggling and stuff. So I thought like all these years I've been smoking, it's as if um, I've not been thinking well and it's as if what the pastor said is true. Then I beg God that God, because when I came here, I have these lumps in my nose. I don't even need to put my hand in my nose. I would feel it myself. And unfortunately, when the pastor said we should touch our hands on wherever the part that we feel is not okay with us, I was reluctant at first, but I just decided to just, like, st with style, I placed my hand on my nose. Then after the pastor prayed finished, I sat down and I blew my nose. I, I can't find, like, I can't find this day again. Like, it's no more day. And I think that's a miracle for me. Thank you very much. Put your hands together. Double miracle. Deliverance from smoking and healing of the nose block. Double portion for you tonight. Tell yourself, double portion in my life. Double miracle in my life. There's an affirmation from heaven for you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I'm Sister Priscilla, Priscilla Imakbo. I'm a student of FUI. I want to thank God for how he delivered me and how he healed me miraculously. I've been having a sickness for, um, since 2020, and I couldn't say anything because of financial issues. But miraculously, this, I told him 2022, 2021 December, during the miracle um, explosion in the DLCC, I told him that, God, I don't want to carry the sickness to 2023, that I should just do something for me. Miraculously, 2022, God just made the miracle, miraculous provision, and I could do the surgery. After the surgery, I had issues. Like, I couldn't eat. I had post-surgery um, trauma, and my body was just disorganized. But that day, I sat at home, because it was around August 27 I did the surgery. And it was during the time we were having the global crusade. So during that time, I listened to the prayer at home, and miraculously, God healed me. Today, I am totally healed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You can do better than that. Say, praise the Lord. Can we have orchestra to praise the Lord with us? Before we...
Bye-bye.